Hey guys, I'm Jack Fawcett and welcome to this demo and review of the Glary Music GT501 acoustic guitar. As of right now, which is November 2018, this guitar costs $48.99 new. That's $48.99 new. So I want you to keep that context throughout the review, because I want to give you a good detailed review of what the instrument is, what you're getting, which means we will talk about some of the things that aren't as great. Again, it's $48.99 brand new, and that's less money than a cheap overdrive pedal. So I want you to keep it in that context. And I would like to say right off the bat that my initial thoughts for this guitar are very good, particularly for the price. This is a nice guitar. It's fun and comfortable to play. It has a much better sound than I would expect. It has better hardware, better intonation than I would expect for something for that price. And that was a very pleasant surprise. This is a lot nicer than you know the instrument that I would have begun on, uh, that that a lot of people would have begun on. Which brings me to my first point. This is of course at you know a guitar at this price point. This is probably going to be best for beginners. However, that's probably not its limit. It does have a nice sound and it has a nice playability, which means this could well last you up into an intermediate level. This is something that you could take out and perform with. You know you could certainly install a pickup into it and then it could be used in a gig. And when you get attached to a guitar, you know, it's something that, of course, you tend to keep around for a long time if it's if it's something that you, you know, really connect with. I, I know players who have inexpensive instruments that they play regularly their entire lives because it's a friend to them. You know, it's not just something that you buy and have around. It's, it's not just a commodity. You know, it's something that you make music on. It, it becomes a little bit more personal. That being said, this is great for those things. This is great. It's a it's a fun guitar. It has a thicker neck than I would have expected. It has a spruce top, basswood back and sides, with a rosewood fingerboard and a rosewood bridge. Again, the hardware is better than I expected, specifically the tuners. A lot of times with inexpensive guitars, you get lousy tuners, and uh, and that's you know one of the ways that they keep costs down. These tuners, I don't know how much money they cost for the company to use, but they are solid tuners. It's holding its tune quite well. As far as the company goes, it was shipped pretty well, and I'm going to share some footage here of unboxing it. It came in the classic guitar triangular shaped cardboard box. Uh, I hadn't read this, but this was kind of a nice surprise, and, and I did notice it is on the webpage, but it came with a gig bag. You know, it's it's not a particularly padded or sturdy gig bag, but again, you know, there's guitars that you can get for a couple hundred dollars that don't come with a gig bag at all. So this came with a gig bag. Uh, it was wrapped in foam, which was nicely done up around the headstock, and it was deep tuned with a paper guard over the strings. It also came with a pick guard and an Allen wrench. Now the Allen wrench is to adjust the truss rod. For those of you who are beginners and you're wondering, is this a good investment? Well, what a truss rod is, is it's a rod that goes up through the neck and with humidity, because guitars are made of wood, they can warp and bow. The neck can kind of go like this or like this. And if it's like this, it just makes it very difficult to play. If it's like this, it makes it impossible to play because the strings fret out. The strings actually hit the frets when you're not holding them, and then, then you can't play. So it came with an adjustable truss rod wrench. Here is the pick guard. It's a stick-on pick guard. I did not stick on the pick guard because the cutout is a different arc than the sound hole, and they didn't go right together. Now, this is a pretty you know, light piece of plastic. I could just take a razor knife to it and, you know, draw it up and, and fix it. I don't particularly feel the need for a pick guard anyway. Again, for beginners, if you're not sure about these things, you know, pick guard basically just guards it from getting scratches from the pick. Some people think that scratches from the pick actually give the guitar more character. It makes it more yours. And, you know, again, for a $48.99 guitar, I, I'm not particularly worked up about little things like that. Some other things, you know, it does have some very little tiny, you know, kind of uh, scores in the wood, slightly rough around the edges, and, you know, a few tool marks on the headstock. It smells like wood. It smells like it was just carved, and that actually made me feel better about it, oddly enough, because I felt like someone actually did work on this guitar, as opposed to it just kind of coming slap hazard down of a machine someplace. Uh, it has a nice matte finish, which makes it very comfortable to play. Sometimes glossy finishes kind of gum up on you with sweat, particularly on the back of the neck. They can feel sticky. This has a nice matte finish. It has the cutaway, so you have good access to the upper frets. Again, it's a pleasant guitar to play. It has a pretty nice tone. 
It has a clear, bright top end, some good stuff going on in the mid-range, and the bottom end is present um, more so than I would expect. I would also like to mention at this point that I didn't do any sort of setup to this guitar for this demo. I literally took it out of the box, tuned it up, and played it. It has the strings that it came with. You know, I, I didn't do anything to it, really, again, other than just tune it up. So this is really what you get. This body style, which is a folk body style, means it's a little wider right here and a bit curvier right there going up to the shoulder as opposed to a dreadnought, which is kind of more square. This is a great comfortable body style. Uh, it's 40 inch. It's great for strumming, finger picking, whatever kind of application you want. And in fact, in the next part of the video, I'm going to do more picking style and including some blues style to show you how it sounds in those sort of applications. But it's really fun to just pick up and play. comfortable guitar again you know it, it's a nice companion to have around the house and it looks nice it looks nice it has this nice screen printed logo up top um it really doesn't look cheap you know if you look kind of closely again it's it's a little rough around the edges you know, there's there's one of the the dot inlays in the neck here is popping up it could certainly use an oil of the fingerboard again if you're a beginner rosewood fingerboards you can get lemon oil or a sort of different fretboard conditioners you just kind of rub it in and it makes it look a little darker and, and lusher and it, it keeps the wood more vibrant but all of this for $48.99 is just really hard to beat you know when I was a beginner I wouldn't have expected any sort of guitar like this for under 150 bucks at least. So you're talking three times cheaper than what I would have expected. And again, you know, because of the price point, even if you're a more advanced player, even if you're in an intermediate to advanced player, if you have an extra 50 bucks kicking around sometime, it's not a bad thing to just have an extra guitar laying around that you pick up. One of the best things to have is a nice acoustic guitar in your living room, in your bedroom, have it places where you hang out and do stuff because that's when you'll just pick it up and play it, which is how you become a better guitar player. So I've added some links. You can find them in the description, a link to Glary Music and to this specific product again, which is the GT501 40 inch acoustic guitar with a cutaway. They have a lot of different products there. This is the first one that I've tried, so I can't speak to the others, but they, they also sell other types of acoustic guitars, electric guitars, ukuleles, uh, violins, a whole lot of different things. Check out Glary Music. Thank you for tuning in. If you're a beginner, I really hope that this has helped open up a little bit of a, a world of guitars to you. Best of luck on your guitar journey. If you're an intermediate or advanced player who regularly tunes into other demos of mine, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.